Is Andrew back with the fencing? It's proper shiny, isn't it? Remember that TikTok charger? Well, it, um, it earned me about 2,600 quid on TikTok from people buying it and people watching the video because we watched four million times. So it was wet this weekend. So we flew out to Portugal for today and tomorrow. So I'm back on Monday. So I'm going to do a rerun video because three years ago, this is James Lacey, who grows sunflowers on a professional scale. And the business has grown so much since then, but here's where it was three years ago. Got a horse paddock to rejuvenate for someone, so just got the chain arrows with Beg Steel and borrowed them off. Ian and John, so we're gonna go and try it now. So fly tipping here on the road. Sam's cutting the hedges so that the cars can see the tractors coming at harvest. The other beans looking well there. Bright light, bright light. Remember that film? Right with the sign is well done, Sam. The grass has grown a little bit since we, we were here spraying the weeds off. I know it's like, if you look, it's knocking the lumps out and, the hollow, and filling the hollows in. Well, I think we're gonna have to do it a few times because it's got quite a carpet of grass which is keeping the harrows off the floor properly. It's literally grown so much. We'll have to do it about five times. doing a bit better job here where the grass is a bit short and it's more poached or porch whatever you want to call it loads of hoof prints here it will have to do it two or three times get it nice and level this is quite flat here and over here it's all rough where he's not done yet it just shows you how much he's working Just come to look at the NHS sunflowers and I've got some poppy seeds in my pockets. So I'm gonna sow some poppies as well into the flowers. And then I'm just looking because the cornflowers are about to flower. Now I did see one that had a little bit of a blue tinge to it, which was good because they are supposed to be blue. Apparently you can top them to hold them back, but I'm a bit like, do I do it or don't I? Or do I just wait to see what comes and then maybe top them? So I'm gonna to speak to someone tomorrow at cereals and see what they think I should do when they're at this kind of level here. Could do them thickening out a little bit, you see, they're not, they're not very thick. So we'll see. Quick update on the sweet corn. It's gaining height, it's, sorry, it's gaining substance, lots of leaves. Not really a lot of height, it's kind of not bolting like really high yet, but it's got lots of leaves on there that are catching all that sunlight. And we had eight mil of rain last night. So it's really warm now. So hopefully it'll really start to move the next few days. Feel the sunflowers so new the day. Couple coming up, couple eaten though by the pigeons. Absolute nuisance chewing them off. Quick update on the first field of sunflowers. It's nearly waist height. Last year it was waist height all over on the 23rd of June. It's now obviously the 28th, is it? But there's obviously patches over there which are really small and the field average is probably only just above knee height. So a lot of growing to do, but again, warm, wet, hopefully it'll motor on now. Hopefully this is what the NHS will look like with these blue cornflowers and bees. There's Andrew back with the fencing. This is the fencing for the back of the yard and we're going to plant a hedge behind it and then some's for the village hall as well. There's the post there and there's some fixing somewhere and there's just some post and rail as well to do the farm. Anyway, I'm off now to see a professional sunflower grower with a fleet of fence. So I've come all the way to, where are we, Spalding? Yeah, in near Spalding, yeah. I had to find a sunflower drill that's come from 20 minutes from my house. A proper one. <laughs> Another new Lexia. 770. So has this got walkers then? Is it rotary? Oh yeah, it's a narrow chassis, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So you're getting ready for some flowers in this field? Yeah. So this was sweet building this morning. Hmm. Never noticed 
the high level brake light on a 900 series. 939 and a 942 and a 940 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 And that, because you can't get labour at the moment, that's just been built to harvest Sweet William. Yeah. And that'll take the place. Instead of even 200 men, you now need 12. No, there's only six on there. Six. Six two ten four drivers and a track driver. Doing the work that 200 people used to do, harvesting flowers. So the row of flowers goes up them belts, gets trimmed there, trimmed again to size, packaged up there into baskets and then goes to the back house and put on pallets at the back. And as it's going down the field, they keep loading pallets on and taking pallets off, put it in the baskets, empty baskets onto the shelves. The flowers come up here, end up there flat, putting them boxes into the, into the, is it? What, so you, that, that's, would be how you, no, you wouldn't harvest it like that, would you? No, no, we harvest it tighter than that, and then that's how the supermarket wants them. And then that's Ooh, what they open up to. Fruit. And that's too far. And then, <laughs> and that, there's one that you crop. <laughs> Mine's a bit smaller, still in my life. That's a field, some flowers, and there's one open. That's the deformed one that's open, I think, as well. well every one of them is the right height about to open so they'll harvest all these by hand for the supermarkets when they look like that yeah. is that four row or six, six row or three row that's four row this is eight row yeah but how'd you get that down the road Next row. but how wide is it 3.7 meters oh it looks wider than that Potato planter, four row. Do, do these things ever move? Because I only ever see them parked in yards. Yeah, yeah, we take it to the dealer. Yeah. Gotta take it out for it to break down on the road. Kramer, five one six. Yeah, that is smaller, isn't it? Yeah. What's is that seven twenty as well then? Yeah. It's a beast that trailer, isn't it? Wait. No ratchet straps. Seven twenty. The one that Hannah drives. Loads of stickers. That's a bucket filler. Does it time it how many it put how much it puts in? Yeah. How many does it fill at once? 18. 16. So you get a box, you put 16 buckets in it, and you put it under there, fill it up with a set amount of water because that's on a timer. You put it on the trailer, then you have to drive steady to the field. Yes. And then when you get to the field. They put 35, you need to see the camera. 35 in a bucket, five Thir and a half thousand flowers on a trailer. One of them trailers. And then you bring it back and it goes into the pack house. Yes. Now, four, five degrees, it's freezing. You see your breath. And then there's today's sunflowers in buckets of water, being chilled before they're packed. The dog. So they were in the field before. Yeah. They were in the field before getting harvested by that machine. And then they go. And now they're in a bucket, ready to go to Mars suspensers. That? Right. That's out the field now, and they're in buckets of water. Yeah. 
flowers there. Get wrapped up. Go along the conveyor. Into the plastic. Into the buckets. And off to Tesco. So they get put in a box for the tech what they supply, Tesco. There's water in here. Water in there. And a piece of cardboard and that to stop them getting squashed. Yes. And there they are. The day old. No, a few hours. TCB. Baltra, proper tractor. Nine four two. Nine three nine. And then the backup sprayer for when the challenge is parked up. And it'll pull an eighteen ton car. It does look proper, doesn't it? Will it yeah. With air brakes. Auto lube, that's what we need. No one knows how to do it in ours. It's quite short this one, I mean, is it ten meter? All oh, right. So this one, if that was standard, that'd be a ton. But yeah. now it's fourteen hundred because it's got that plate. That's it, yeah. And that has got a bigger plate, and that's two and a half. Yeah. And that's a thousand. And that one's a thousand, yeah. And what should you prefer, the Philip Watkins weight box or cherry product stuff? We don't have any cherry product stuff. It's proper shiny, isn't it? It's not out. Why? This is the demo one. Oh, all right. <laughs> when will yours turn up then? Well, it was supposed to be around the 1st of July, but we were uh, promised the harvester until ours turns up, so they haven't started making it yet. Proper track system on it. They don't stay new for long, though, do they? Look how clean after this. So this is a demonstrate harvester that Grimmy have lent James to use until this new one is built. It's an absolute monster. I think it's the same as Stuart's actually, that's spuds on us. Class track system, wide tracks, four row. They even use a class cab, don't they? Yeah, class cab on it as well. About four meters wide on the road. What's the road width? Four meters? Uh, it should be 3.8. Yeah. Could be. Right. This is base. Got a proper good view of everything, haven't you? Yeah. Apart from what's behind you. <laughs> Let's use the that. cameras. Grimmy cab. Uh, sorry, class cab. That's where you'd have your printer if it was a combine. It's Mercedes engine. I think it's the same as a combine. All the cameras on the top. The uh, cleaner's a bit smaller, but that's because this doesn't work in dusty conditions. You can't plant these with a fleet of fence, though, can you? Can you plant these with a fleet of fence, or is this a Kubota job? No, we use a fence to put the peat in the hoppers. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of stock. What's that mean? That's what they call, they're called column stocks. It's just a flower. In three years, that sunflower business has gone massive and the potatoes as well. I think he runs three or four of them self propelled harvesters that we're sat in now. Anyway, there's plenty of action going on here, I'll show you now. Big 30 tonne there. Building a sea defence. Some cranes here. Public toy grabber as well. You're gonna stand next to it. No, you need to stand a bit further back. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, James is actually single as well if there's any females that are interested. This is the harbour in Villamora where a lot of people bring the boats and uh, Martin's even brought his. Now that one looks smart. 
that is about all for today. I'm off to Maria's for something to eat with Charlotte. It's nice to actually be able to come away with her because she's been just as busy as me recently and got a lot of hassle with the planners as well about one of the dog fields. But it's Fiona and Robert's birthday. I've written it on this boat, so there it is. So I hope you don't mind us uh, writing on your boat if your boat's called Brutus. But thanks for watching today, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and thanks to everyone that... <laughs> I know they're on TikTok, but oh my God, can you believe that just sharing a link for a charger can actually pay for you to go on holiday? So thank you everyone that did. I mean, I don't think it was anyone on YouTube did, but if you watch on TikTok as well, that's just crazy. But it is a good charger and I've even brought one with me. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.